Hey guys, I am back with another video and today is going to be a what's in my bag video and the bag that I have is the Michael Kors Aster Studded Bag. This is so pretty and I really do feel like in person the bag looks so so much better and of course you can pick it up at Macy's or Michael Kors, Bloomingdale's, it's a lot of different places that you can uh, pick it up at. But if you want to see a complete review of it, I will link a video that I did down below. And also, if you are, if you like to watch uh, bag reviews or Michael Kors bag reviews, I have a playlist that you can check out. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into what's in this baby. I haven't done like a what's in my bag video. I've done like little shorts, but I haven't actually done a what's in my bag video in a long time years I think I, I think it's been years that I've actually done one like this so anyway let's start off with the good stuff okay oh and let me show you up close what the bag how everything looks all in the bag I'll just show it to you right now you can actually see what actually fits in there um, the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is what's in my um, coach bag and I keep that it's like a little coach pouch but it's a wallet as well, kind of sort of because it has little uh, credit card slots that you can put in there. The first thing that I have is the Touchland Power Mist, and this is a hand sanitizer. This is, uh, you can get this from Sephora, and what I like about it is that it's the spray, it's the mist, and it's a little bit um, uh, forgiving in regards to getting it everywhere. Uh, it does have, on, that, on, on the Sephora site, it has so many scents. It may have an upwards of seven different scents, and this is like $7. The smallest one is $7, and I think the larger one is $15 or $20. So I have that. Now, the next one, um, I like to carry in my purse paired with it because I feel as though it's necessary sometimes. Have you ever gone into the restroom and hey, there's there's no soap, like really? You've used the restroom and let's say you're going out to dinner. You use the restroom, you need to wash your hands with soap, right? You, you, you know, you need that. So this little pouch right here, it's a plastic little pouch and you open it up and there's the bar of soap. Isn't that so? I really like the fact that the pouch is plastic so it's okay if the bar is wet you can put it back in your bag and not destroy your bag and then you can go and join whomever you are with dinner and you can have your hands clean so these two a must girl a must okay it's only gonna set your bag about twenty dollars you know all right next up I have a little compact I think every lady has this right every leader has a compact and it's got the double-sided mirror and this I think I just got this out of a little boutique in one of the stores where I live for a couple of bucks it may have been five or ten bucks but super cute all right so next up i have a lipstick and this is by Guerlain, and i really love this this is like a, a red this is a red with a blue undertone i feel like these reds are they go good with anything everything excuse me they go very well with all skin tones that's what i meant to say they go good with anything um, if you have a, a red based uh, excuse me a red lipstick with a blue base you cannot uh, lose with that and I like the uh, casing the casing opens up like this okay and then right there you have a mirror so you can actually if you don't have a mirror or a compact you can open it up and put your lipstick on and this is like one mirror is magnifying and then the other one is it and then you once you put your lipstick on you put your lipstick and it kind of clips to hold the mirror down love that so adores balls okay what else do I have in here? I've got the uh, lip gloss, or this is a, a lip gloss oil. This is by Jin Jinsung. Jinsung. I, if I'm mispronouncing it, please forgive me. This is it right here. Now, historically, the old Bridget would have loved this because right off the bat, because of the packaging, it's so cute. But no, we're all about ingredients, right? We we want the good ingredients. It's got a lot of good stuff for our lips and um, it's very hydrating. I feel as though uh, once you apply it and you wear it, it's not something that is gonna leave your lips dry or drier than they were before you even started. I know one of you out there has experienced that with a lip gloss. You put it on, you need some hydration, the next thing you know, you're dried out. You're drier than the Sahara Desert. That's definitely no fun, right? 
Um, I have a little BC powder. Well, I have more than one, but I always keep some medicine because I'm always in some type of pain. I have a emery board and I have a fragrance. This is by Ellis Brooklyn Myth. Okay, and I'll put the notes and things up on the screen, but what I can definitely tell you about it is that it's a very soft and subtle uh, scent. It's uh, nothing overbearing, nothing that if you're in a crowd, you're, you're gonna, your fragrance is gonna win and top every fragrance um, out there. It's more of, to me, uh, a more of a romantic scent and you can tell by the notes. Now, as far as the longevity, I, I really can't speak to the longevity of it because I feel like when people are giving the deets on longevity, they've worn it for eight or 10 hours. I haven't had it on that long. I, here lately, like a lot of my fragrances, I'm not gonna lie, I wear my fragrances to bed. Like when when I'm like once I get finished filming, <laughs> it's still early, I'm gonna hop in bed and me and my husband gonna watch a movie. So I'll put on my my, my fragrance there so I can smell good for him, you know? Call me silly. I don't know. I I don't know why I kinda feel now, don't get me wrong. I I have been that girl that will just douse all my, you know, fragrance on to go out. But here lately, the ones that are really soft and, and supple and nice or whatever, no, I wear those around him. So anyway, that's what I can speak to. <laughs> but yeah, this one's definitely nice. And you know, um, they have other scents. I'm not really familiar with all of the other fragrances, but when I was picking it, I wanted to have something a little bit more soft and romantic. And at the end of the day, I know all of that stuff is relative, so yeah. All right, so I do have my phone. Okay, got a phone right here. And let's see, what else do I have? I have some Kleenex. You gotta have some Kleenex, right? You have to have that, you have to. You have to. And I feel like, I know this uh, video is gonna be really quick because it's a small purse. You can't fit, fit much in it. And I know someone is probably wondering, all of the stuff that I have in it hasn't made the bag heavy. Mm, yeah, but it's a shoulder strap. So once you once you have it on your shoulder, it's really not, you know, it's not bad. Especially since the width of the handle is kind of, it's not that wide, but it's wide enough. So I got my keys. Okay. And I also like to keep this little, this little gadget. It will allow you, you know, when you go to the restroom and you need to kind of latch, you want to avoid touching the handle. Um, and it's one of the, the, the kind that go down like this. You can hook it onto that. You can also, if you don't want to touch your phone like this, you can use it as, um, like as a touch screen you can open up a bottle cap it's like a cool little gadget the purpose is to kind of avoid um, touching other things all right so i do like to keep this especially when if i'm going to a grocery store or if i'm going out and i might buy something else i've been carrying this for a while and what this is is this is a small bag that opens up to a bigger bag Okay, so you know how sometimes you'll go to a grocery store and you don't, let's say you don't want to carry all the plastic. Let's say you're worried about the environment. Who knows? Whatever. If you find yourself out with a, a smaller bag and you might need a bigger bag, this one just turns into a bigger bag, right? And I know you're like, girl, what you gonna need a bigger bag? But you never know. You never know. So look how big that is. So you can carry. So now you're able to carry whatever you have in your purse plus this, so you don't have to worry. And a lot of times I'll use that if I go to the grocery store or something. They'll be like, you want a bag? No, I, I have it. And I, I'm sure you've seen people go in with their own bags into the grocery store. And that's just to avoid the use of plastic and all that. All right, so what's up next in my purse? Okay. All right, so I do have some gel mace. And I think every lady, we all need, we all need this, right? Okay. And then I have my wallet, of course. And then you got your, the wallet can, you can hold your credit cards and your money. And it's got a little zipper in the back. Okay. And then the last thing, I'm not going to say it, but I'll put it on the screen. What I have, this is just for protection, ladies. I feel like, you know, it's just for protection, right? So this is... Here it is right here. You probably already know what it is, okay? Um, so this is it. 
and it has a light on it and you have the little button that lets you know that it's actually on and then if you want the light ah. so if you're out there stranded right or you need a little protection you got two things you can use you got this you got this you know if you don't have it and you feel you know okay you know using it be safe out there ladies okay so anyway that concludes the video let me know down in the comments do you have any of these things do you think it's an overkill let me know if you carry any of the same things that i carry in your purse let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches